father. Please. Please say something. Diana. What? What is it? You're on my hand. Just stay calm. I'll dig you out. <clears throat> Your harmonizer's toast, but I gave you mine. There's not much energy to draw on Did here. it work? Are they safe? I think so. Kaven gave them cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another punches through. Good, good. You need to be gone when they do. Fat chance, old man. You're my lamp family, and I'm not leaving you in here. <sighs> Damn it, why can't I move this thing? You're as stubborn as your grandmother. This is all my fault. I just listened to you. No, you were right. I deserved every word. No, just forget about that, please. It doesn't matter. It does. Well, you've been keeping secrets so long. It's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. <laughs> Stop. Come on. Damn it. Damn. Stop. You know, back on Earth. My father believed you had to confess your sins. If you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance, but... Maybe this is mine. The Earth was a troubled place when I left here. I was 32 when they recruited me. A bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored world. Fifty years ago now. Fifty years of living with the consequences of my choices. Fifty years since I damned us all. We were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down.
place you look. Somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 off 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Give me a second. Don't be. 
know how to repair. First, you have to find the proper repair frequency. Yep, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Okay, you're all set. Yes, sir. We got him coming. friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that as an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette. You know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though. I never said that. You didn't have to. You just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... It's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach. I see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? Been some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. You really stepped up out there, huh? You must have a million questions. I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. Well, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? I to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics. All the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevek believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Well, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Pete and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first, you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different now. I'm sure she'll be a cooperative and productive member of your team. Uh, just a second, Doctor. Jay, any word from Lorraine?